Hey gamers, it's Wintermute here from Grind This Game, back with Oxygen Not Included, the uh, occupational upgrade. And looks like the new update uh, is coming out in two weeks in and five days or so. So sometimes they'll have a preview two weeks before, sometimes it's one week before. But if there's a preview two weeks before, I'll be getting in there and seeing what's in there, checking it out, probably do a review video or two. Uh, some people have asked me to start a new base. And I kind of want to do some more stuff with this base before I start a new one. But definitely with the new update, I'll be starting a new base. And I got one comment about it not really being a pyramid, and it's kind of true. I didn't, I kind of stopped the project. I should continue digging out the bottom here. And this is technically outside of the pyramid. I could, I could probably move it in. It's just that the area down here is pretty hot. We'll have to cool this down first. Which is pretty easy. Um, off camera, I either off camera or on camera. I can't remember if I did this on camera last time. Oh yeah, I did this top section, but I just duplicated it here. So now we have uh, four saturated lines of oxygen coming in. This one's got a mixture of stuff, but and it's all being fed through polluted water, essentially, right here. Let's speed things up. So yeah, we're filtering this polluted water. It seems to be enough to kind of feed all of this. We have our regular water coming in. We can also use later on if we run out. We were digging up here to get the polluted water. And I'll poke through here once we need more and then I'll poke through here once we need even more. Actually, let's see what the level like is like there. Uh, yeah, I'll wait till it goes down a bit and then we'll poke a hole there. But I kind of want to build a tube from the bottom here up along here. Now I can't build it on the left because we have these indestructible tiles the, from this little area here. So we have to build it on the right. So I was thinking of going along here and continuing on up here. First maybe I'll explore. Let's build a, we can build a regular ladder because the tube will be out of plastic. We've got to conserve our plastic. And granite. Let's use igneous rock. And I'm just going to poke through this chlorine. I don't really care. Wherever it lands, we'll, we'll deal with it. We'll pick it up. So I want to go up here first with a ladder just to see what there is. And then we'll start building a tube. We can probably start building the tube right away. Let's tear this down. Not all. Tear this down. Got some lag. Tear that down, tear this down. Now this was my kind of water catchment area. I could, uh, I think I'm going to put my tube launcher over here though. Because I want to send them right up here. I don't want to cross the tube over the ladder. Because that's kind of messy. But I could. Hmm. I think I'll build it over here. But we need the tube first, so let's start that. How much plastic do we have? 19,000. Let's do this priority 7 and just start going up. So the idea is to build a work camp up here. That's well, that's a lot of plastic. We have enough though, I think. Gotta dig this out. It's in the way. Yeah, this chlorine will fall out. It'll probably end up near the bottom. Wherever it lands, we'll pick it up. And I kind of want to get to the top of the map. We'll build a little base camp there. And the idea is to strip mine. So strip mine in le like layers of one at a time, essentially. Or two at a time. And then all the materials will fall down. And at the very end, Wherever we stop strip mining, let's say we stop down here, we're going to have a massive amount of materials all sitting in one line. And we can either use some um, auto sweepers to move it all to storage, or we can drop some hatches and they can just eat it all. We'll see, what, uh, we'll see how that goes. I did build a storage room over here. I haven't really been using it. I was experimenting with an auto sweeper. Uh, they did pick up things like crazy when, <laughs> when this was set up. But most of my storage is here, on the ground. There's like, um... 
A lot of debris on the floor there. And I was making metal tiles everywhere. I should put them in the bathroom. I think I have some left here. Got some iron we could use. Make the decor in the bathrooms nicer. Like that. The bedrooms, we can do along here. This would be nice. Oh, actually. Uh, yeah, that's fine. They can do that there. Maybe at the very end here. They don't usually go down there, but... The medical cot area, sure. Oh, we missed one here. I'm worried if I do that, it's all going to fall to the ground, so I'll leave that one. And I should continue to dig out this area here. To just make the pyramid look a little bit better. So let's allow them in there. One will dig. Dig this out. Let's allow everyone in here. Everyone can get out. Someone said always just leave the exit. Oh, well, later on. I'll leave the exit, but remove the entrance. In. But this one, we don't want anyone in there. Leave those puffs and that slime alone. So we'll dig that out. Dig this out. That deodorizer is going to get ruined. That's okay. So we'll, we'll clear all this out to, to kind of give the pyramid some definition. This storage is not technically in the pyramid. It's kind of off to the side here. We could move that later on. This has been all cleaned up. So we could technically dig, just open this up, I guess. We don't need the airlock anymore. So let's remove that. Is there any germs in there though? Oh, nothing really. Dig this out. Start digging all this out, dig that out. We got, I put a hatch in here so we can eat the polluted dirt that falls out of this filter. I'll probably set up some automation here. Oh, I already did. <laughs> I forgot I did that last episode. Okay, so what does this say? We got no power. Uh, we need conductive wire for that. Yeah, I was going to set it so it pumped hot water in if the pressure fell below current pressure, activated below 500. That's good. So if the water level comes down here, uh, this thing will pump some hot water in here. Our pinch peppers aren't really working because our natural gas is off. I should, just, I should separate this. Oh, I took our refinery offline. We're just using the crusher instead up here. The rock granulator. I should enable these. Actually, I don't want these sculptures here. I'll get rid of those. People have asked me why I use these double doors here. It's just for airflow. It encloses the room. And I think it's cheaper than... Let's see here. It has no decor debuff, cost 100 materials, versus airflow tiles have, have a de decor of minus 5, and they cost 100 each, so 200 total. Whoa, this... Oh, I thought that was broken for a sec. Okay, how's the plastic tube going? Are they finished already? Oh, no. Still building. We're missing a piece. Now I gotta finish the ladder here so they can actually get up there. Oh, we're almost at the top. Maybe. Actually, the top's way up here. 
So oxygen came up. I wonder where that chlorine ended up. Oh, it liquefied. <laughs> That's hilarious. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to... Dig out here. Let that chlorine... I think it'll kind of... Leach back into here. And stay frozen. I don't want it to drip down. Because it'll turn into a gas if it drips down. It's slowly sinking though. And once it's... Oh, it's dripping. Oh well. Never mind. I wonder if I can mop it up. Oh no, he's stuck. He's stuck. Jeez, what have I done? Let's put a uh, tile there. Priority 9. I think he's got lots of oxygen though. He might freeze to death. Oh, he's hungry. How much food does he have? Come build this. Come build this. It's priority nine. Look at him, he's so hungry. <laughs> there he goes. Should be able to get out now. Yeah. So lots of oxygen there. No germs because it's so cold, yeah. So we'll continue to build that. I want to see what's up here. Get that tube all the way up here. Oh, that's neutronium there. So that's the top. But not really because it. this is where the neutronium comes down, I guess. Interesting. Oh, that's priority five. That's why they're not doing it. Come on. Lots of delicious coal and things in here. So we'll try try strip mining. And we need a little launch launch pad here. Oh, this is where the chlorine is going. So let's dig uh, dig this out. And put our little launch pad in here. The transit tube access. That there, get some tubes hooked up. I don't use tubes much, but I'm they're growing on me. I'm starting to like them. Okay, we'll put that there. We'll put a few like exits as well. So if they want to get somewhere faster, they can. Let's let's stick an exit right here. They'll shoot out there. Maybe one uh, up here. I think that'll work. Oh, neutronium. Okay, so we'll have to go to the side slightly to get up to the very top. The big dig. Let's speed things up. Super speed. And let's check out our polluted water down here. I like the way the things look when it, in super speed. Control U is how you turn it on. We got some liquids building up here. How's our oxygen? Minus 12, minus 12, 17. This is actually warming up in here a bit. Uh, we still have quite a bit of water here. But let's poke through. I think it's safe. Oh, we should poke through this first. I guess it doesn't really matter which one. Let's go up. That's quite a bit, but I think we'll be okay. So we'll do priority seven, poke through that. Not that drain. Might as well just keep going up. Oh, there's a lot of germs in there though. Let's see. Uh, we'll skip doing the slime there just for now. Actually, I want to see what's up there. Let's go up. Let's do it. I want to reveal the whole map.
Let's pause while we move. <laughs> okay, are they building? We could put our we should put our uh, fire pole in there as well. Use iron. We got a lot of it. Let's put that in. The top. Okay, let's dig this way. Just to reveal what's up here. And we can dig this way too. Now I gotta mine these peaks first. And then just strip mine. Got a bunch of chlorine in here. We don't really like that. We could cut we could come from this direction as well. But this is a good hydrogen collection point right here. Hmm. I, I think it's okay if we go up a bit more. Igneous rock, sure. We don't want too many ladders, because it I think it makes the game slow with all the pathfinding issues. Yeah, we gotta get over here. Put a little ladder up, go across. I told myself after doing the big dig many, many, many episodes ago in a different playthrough that I would never do it again, but here we go. Now we've got skilled diggers, so we might as well, uh, might as well do it. Come through here. Build a little platform here so we can get over here. And just see what's over here. Uh, they're not gonna be able to get across there, so. Leave a bit of a ramp. Lots of oxygen in here, which is good. I kinda wanna flood the whole map with oxygen as well. I think we can do it. We only have 20 dupes. We're not going to go anymore. I don't know if this ultra fast speed is actually faster. I mean, it is faster, but it's, tr it's struggling to keep up. We're missing. Smooth that tube out. Okay, let's see if they actually use this. They should be. Oh, I don't have power. Uh -huh. Conductive wire. I think we had a circuit here. Actually, that circuit's probably saturated. Oh, potential power only 480. Okay, that's our new line. Is that our new line? Yeah, that's the new line I put in. Let's take that across. Um, I'm gonna go up and around, I guess. I could put tiles in here. Put granite. Now our fourth or our third oxygen line here is getting saturated. Like there's no no place for it to go. I could dump it in here as well could bridge over. Let's do that. Uh, I think I'll, I do everything out of abyss light just in case later on I want it to be. Uh, you know, protected from heat or cold. We'll just bring this up here and just dump it right here. Just to use it up. Okay, we're almost done the power here. And they can start launching themselves into space. Now I realize this is outside of the pyramid, but 
That's okay. It's just it's just transit. Soggy feet, soggy feet. I want to see the first launch. Go super fast. And I don't really know why I have this hole here. Let's use metal tile, actually. Nice and fast. Fast and sexy metal tile. A bunch of water is going to end up down here, I think. Maybe I should do one um, mesh tile. We'll get rid of that. Put like a little tiny space for the water to go. And then put in a mesh tile. That's not proper drainage or anything. I could drain it out there, but... Look at them go. Has anyone used this yet? Hmm. Do they have any reason to go up here? Or are they all done? Oh no, they got dig tasks. Oh, priority five, that's why. Okay, let's see if it... Oh, we're missing some pole here. See if they if they use it. No one's using it. Oh, it's not connected. What the heck? There we go. There they go. Yay. Let's slow it down. There goes who's in there? Marie. <laughs> I love tubes. No, oh, she got out there. Oh, that's the closest point. Okay. We could do a little dump here as well. That sounds gross. We can do a little exit point right here. Dig, my children. Oh, neutronium. Can't dig that. Oh, what was that? <laughs> oh no, they're stuck. <laughs> Take yourself out of there, quickly. Yeah, we gotta... We gotta free the... Get some oxygen in here. Oh, look at all the germs in there. Holy crap. Suffocating. Yeah, we need oxygen up here. There's some right here. We could actually set up a hydrogen burning system once we get to the top here. So let's keep going up here. Let's get this all mined out. Let's use uh, igneous rock. What do we have here? Igneous rock, yeah. So we'll go up. Uh, I'd like to go straight, but we can't, so we'll go right here. Oh, that flower's in the way. Don't like that. Go one beside. There we go. What priority did I do that? Eight. That's good. We'll do it. So we'll dig this down. Maybe we'll do some hydrogen collection here because this will be the high point. We gotta clean all this out. All this nasty... nasty germs. I could put an airlock. I could use a water lock, but I don't really like them. 
due to the debuff. So we'll put a, maybe an airlock here. Sneak in a few filters. Clean that all out. And then... I should probably go left here. And I might actually build an airlock here just because... We got all this chlorine in here. We don't want it escaping. And then we'll continue on over here. We could have... Oh yeah, we have this up here. Let's step back and see... See the creation. We got lots of polluted water in the way as well. Why are they taking the ladder when they can take the tube? Is it out of power? No, it's got power. Yeah, why are they taking this ladder? Oh, what? There they go. It's very small. <laughs> okay, let's put the exit tube uh, here as well. We'll spit them out there. That should speed things up for them. Got all this nasty chlorine. So eventually, wherever the chlorine settles, we'll capture it and blast it into a little storage room. And up here, I'm thinking of doing uh, hot, burning away the hydrogen. We could set an oxygen line up here too. We kind of are just through venting it right here. Overpressurized. We could actually lead, lead an oxygen line up here. Why the heck not? It's going to be easier. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Should I use... I'm just going to use some junk materials. Make me a rock. Take that up and over. Uh, that's going to be a long build. Do we want that? <laughs> sure. Why not? Keep them busy. We got 1.2 million food. We can extend this even more if we need it at the very top. That's kind of where we need it most, actually. Let's dig this out. Dig that out, dig that out. And I've also been going through the jobs here. Whenever they hit 100% in whatever, I kind of rotate them down into the next thing. So Nicola, can we put down here? He might already be maxed. Let's see, Nicola. No, he's not. So Nicola, Max, Rowan, and who else? Bert can go up one. Uh, these two are artists. Abe and Bubbles. I don't know what they're good at already. Abe and Bubbles. I think they are already miners. Let's see. Abe. Oh, he's not. And Bubbles. Bubbles. Okay, good. We'll leave them here for now. Let's take a look at Abe, though. Where's the Ada I want to look at? One of them has crazy skills. Okay, yeah. Look at job training from Ada, or Ada. Ada. Look at all this. It's a super dupe. Okay, this oxygen. Oh, they haven't built, they haven't built this line yet. Got materials all over the place. How's this all going? This line is getting a little bit not saturated. What's going on here? Got enough water going there? Yeah. I think it's all good. Let's 
Polluted water is looking good. So we got that tube set up. Now we kind of want a work camp up here. So I want food up here, I want bathrooms up here. But there's no oxygen here yet, so maybe we'll put the work camp. Uh, how's the temperature here? 41. We could put it right here. It doesn't have to be big. Let's go in here. And even beds. We could assign some beds up here, but... Toilets and food will keep them from having to go all the way down. I don't like that won't escape, so we'll do... We'll do a couple outhouses and a hand washing station. That way if they have to go to the bathroom, they won't, they won't go all the way down. I should really put the work camp up here, but we got a bunch of hydrogen. Actually, right here might be good. I'll put it here. So first off, we want hand washing. Wash basin. I don't know if I have any kind of manual places. Anyway, we'll find out. Wash basin. Priority eight. We'll stick a door there. Two hand washing stations, two outhouses. Oh, we need a compost. Compost, stick in the back. Now, can they get clean water? No, there's no clean water for them to get. So we need a spot, we need a pump down here. I had one down here before, but got rid of it. So let's put a uh, pitch pump right here. So that way they can get clean water and then polluted water they can dump. I thought I had a dumping one. Maybe I don't. We'll put a dumping thing here. Bottle emptier. It can be up hot. Oh, it's right here. Yeah, so we'll have that blue water go there. I don't know why I have this hand washing station here. Let's get rid of that. Because they have to come through this sink first. Oh, does everyone have a suit on? Uh, no. Liam, Marie. Stress is actually a little bit... Oh, only one is stressed out. Ren is stressed out a bit. I think everyone has a bed. Yeah, there's spare beds. Oh, let's uh, let's feed our hatch. I think he's hungry. Mr. Hatch. There you go. Yum, yum, yum. He's so happy now. Actually, there's five of them. Igneous rock. Fill that back up. Destroy all the igneous rock. So the long-term plan, if I keep going with this base, the long-term plan is to essentially turn everything into sand. <laughs> Mine the whole map, turn it into sand. Burn it up. Destroy it. Oh yeah, bathrooms. So now we got the sinks in. They've got clean water. We can put our outhouses in. I don't like outhouses, but... Oh, I didn't leave room. <laughs> One's enough. One will have to be enough. I don't want to pop... I don't want to poke this open yet. Well, they're getting in and they're going out. I guess because it's faster than going up the ladder. That's funny. Let's put a uh, exit here. I think they have room to get out. That's so funny. <laughs> 
tubes. Okay, let's keep digging here. See this way, if you if you dig kind of a few rows at a time going down, you don't have to build as many ladders, temporary ladders. You just uh, you just strip mine it. We got to get rid of this. Whoa, whoa! How do they do that? How do they? How do they jump down here? It makes no sense whatsoever. Okay. They're free. Jeez. Okay, let's dig this out. We're gonna need a little platform here. So we might need some temporary ladders here because we don't have enough room here. Oh, they're stuck. <laughs> Let's see if they can get through this. Oh no, no, red alert. Red alert, get them out of there. Okay, okay, red alert over. That was close. Digging is dangerous. Can we get that out of the way from there? Yeah, they should be able to walk over, dig it. Yeah, that should be fine. Not super exciting work. But all these materials will, if they just keep falling down, well, eventually. Well, we got bleach down here. I don't want to dig that out too much, but kind of have to. We're gonna do it all. We need more oxygen up here, so let's extend that oxygen line. See, they're using that bathroom. That's good. That's really good. Make this a seven. Make this a seven. I should move this over so we can get another toilet in there, but I guess one will be good enough. Let's dig this out. Okay. What do we need? We need oxygen. Let's extend this. Uh, igneous rock. Let's extend this up here and flood it here. What priority was that? Nine? No. We gotta reserve nine for emergencies. There we go. Actually, I'll leave that ice there. Let's go super speed. And then we'll have to burn up the hydrogen. I guess we'll get this bleach stone. We do have a container for it somewhere. Oh, that's all priority five.
Probably safe to go in here too. Yeah, they'll put that bleach stone in underwater. I got an underwater storage container. Go across here. I'm gonna have to build a ladder for this. And we're gonna get a bunch of hydrogen in here, so let's build a quick setup here. This will be priority seven, not nine. Let's build a little area here. Uh, actually, let's use airflow tile. So this will be okay. We need a pump. Gas pump. Gas pump. Um, we need a filter. Doesn't matter what this is made out of. Hydrogen's gonna come out, go to a hydrogen generator. Everything else is gonna come out. It can go, I don't know, over here. What a mess. I should send that down more, but whatever. We'll, we just want to get it operating. It's going to need, need a place for the hydrogen to go. So power, hydrogen generator, sure. And then it's going to need power to kind of start up. We'll put coal in there. And we'll wire it up. I don't have a battery. Let's take a battery over on the right, I guess. Uh, yeah. I'm doing airflow so all that hydrogen can get up here. And let's use a smart battery. We don't need a regular battery. I should have put the power through the floor, but no one's going to be coming up here, so it doesn't matter. There we go. That'll suck up all that hydrogen. Can they reach this? Yeah. Priority seven. This is what I wanted to avoid doing stuff like this. Little scaffolding and then you have to tear it down. I'd rather avoid doing that. Flooding. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Spaghetti-o. Too much liquid. Hmm. Let's poke a hole through this. Actually, let's... Let's put a stopper in. Priority nine. Maybe over here. We'll drain this and then we'll mop it up. Oh, they're getting it anyway. Tiny, in tiny amounts, they're getting it. Tiny, tiny, tiny amounts. What's oh, freezing here? All that ice is melting. Let's actually just get rid of this. This is silly. I really should put this over here. But then we have tubes crossing over its ladders. I don't really like that. Do we have polluted oxygen in here? I don't think so. A little bit. How's that oxygen flow? A little bit thin. Inside the base, though, is kind of ridiculous. We've got the CO2 building up. But everything looks great. Gotta make sure we don't run out of water here. We're fine. This is germy water. This is coming from our toilets, so we're 
all the toilet water is coming down here. Going in this filter, sieve, and we're dumping it here. So this is all comes in at 40 degrees. It's still at, at about 40 degrees. Power, power seems totally sufficient. Natural gas pressure is high. So I have regulation here so that if the natural gas pressure drops below 3000 grams, we start pumping polluted water up from here into the fertilizer makers. How are we doing for coal? 174 tons, no problems there. And we're destroying all the igneous rock. <laughs> How much of that do we have left? Tons. Literally tons. It's pretty warm in here. I think we have some spare uh, weasel warts, so let's, uh, let's stick another flower pot in here. Get a weasel wart in there. I don't know why this pole doesn't go all the way down. Okay, there we go. Let's get a... Yeah, we got three spare weasel warts. Oh yeah, let's check our water cooling down here. I gotta keep an eye on it once in a while because it was getting pretty hot. 96 degrees, actually. Not too bad. So these five aqua tuners, they're taking the uh, geyser water at roughly 95 degrees, putting it through these in series, and it's coming out at 23, which is perfect temperature for our food. And this gets really hot, but then we pump out this hot oil, and we destroy it in the oil refinery. A lot of water in there. Oops. How's the temperature? We got a good thermal gradient going on here. Nice and temperate in the base. That's all due to cold oxygen. That's all good. And let's continue with our big dig up top here. Okay, I forgot to set the filter. And what else? I didn't even... I didn't even set up that piping. So that will go in there. And we need a bridge for this. That should be, that, that should get it working. And we'll set the coal generator priority seven. And then we can continue the big dig. Hmm. Almost dug that abyss light. Dig, my little children. <laughs> I like how they float in the air before they get off a little place like that. Okay, so look at this. It's filling, it's filling with oxygen. That's good. Eat up that hydrogen. Pumping in oxygen. Nice little work camp. Now, we could put in beds, but it's pretty easy, pretty fast for them to get down this pole at night. Let's do this. I think that's safe. I'll probably do most 
not most, but more of this off camera, just because it's not super exciting. But you get the idea. I want this ice biome to... Actually, I probably don't want to melt this ice biome, so we'll probably put an airlock in there later. Bleach stone. This airlock's doing nothing. Get rid of that. Cleaning the air. Oh, we really need to clean in here. Yikes. 27,000 germs. Okay, let's do our... We don't need a super fancy airlock. Put in a standard one and then we'll... Get in there, put in some deodorizers. In fact, let's put the deodorizer in first. Doesn't need to be nine. Eight's good. Put that deodorizer in, get it filled, and then we'll crack in. And it's not super pressurized here, so it won't won't squirt out too much. It is lower pressure on the left, so it will it will come out, but I could build a quadruple airlock, but I'm not gonna bother. So that's done, this should be done. Ladder here. So let me know if you have any ideas for the base. Um, things are pretty stable. I might do a little time lapse, run it at super speed for like 100 cycles and see what breaks. It's not completely renewable right now because of that polluted water down on the right for our oxygen. We should be using geyser water, and we could be. I don't know if I have enough geyser water for four full lines of oxygen, but. Okay, let's uh, get rid of these. Will they be able to get back? I hope so. Get rid of that. We only need to build scaffolding in places where everything is uneven. Where we get solid blocks like this, we can just strip, strip, strip mine. Should be able to get there, yeah. There they go. Looking good. How's that toilet doing? Good. So once this is all cleared out, we'll dig this one out. Strip mine down. I want to let this blue water Oh, we'll have to deal with it somehow. Might have to pump it out. Might merge these three puddles here and then pump it down into our room. We want to use it all. We don't want to waste it. It's a resource. This water level, once this water level drops to here, I'll poke into the next one. Got some germs in there. Not too bad. I got a, some automation on this scrubber. If the pressure goes up to a thousand, then we uh, 
we start scrubbing. Oh yeah, I was going to poke a hole here. We'll put a mesh tile... Right here. Oops. Right there. And it'll leak down and then we can mop it up. This was bugging someone. Actually, no. This uh, double... Okay, there we go. We should be able to mop it up now. It's all in one big trough. So this chlorine... We can leave it there for now, but we'll... We gotta make a chlorine storage room somewhere. Doesn't... It could actually even be here. And use a high pressure vent to store it. It's kind of trapped here right now though, which is good. Checking the germs. It's funny that they can go backwards in the tubes. I don't know if you saw that, but they... <laughs> Whoever that was just got halfway up and then came back down. I didn't know they could go in reverse like that. Don't need this ladder here. I should bring this up one level. Tubes. We love tubes. It's kind of messy over here. We got all this oxygen in here. Let's take a look. A look-see how things are going here. This is Alt S, uh, screenshot mode. Temperature, oxygen. Okay, let's dig these out. Unreachable. Do that, then that. Oh, I should put automation on this so this thing isn't going. This is just wasting energy right now. Put a pressure atmos switch. Maybe over here. pressure do we have here? 500 grams. So we'll only, if this goes over a thousand grams, we'll turn it on. Otherwise, it can rest. I think that's probably going to be it though for this episode. I should put, I should hook up this smart battery here. Yeah, so off camera, I might, be, I might do a time lapse of them digging all this stuff for the next video. Because that's uh, kind of slow going. Game, game is getting a bit laggier. We'll continue to uh, turn igneous rock into sand and to feed it to the hatches. Do they eat all that yet? Yeah, they're pretty efficient here. So let's... There they go. More coal. Now we do have coal power kind of throughout the base. I'd like to maybe switch over to natural gas power for those. Because eventually we're not going to get... Oh, actually we get coal from fertilizer makers. Kind of infinitely. I need another uh, auto sweeper in here to get this coal at the bottom. I don't want, I don't want to let the dupes in here. High pressure natural gas. We'll get it out like this yeah so it's gonna be uh it's gonna be the end of the episode i think we're at one hour here hope you enjoyed that a little bit different um 
next episode, like I said, more digging, maybe a time lapse, and maybe kind of extend the pyramid down and try to cool it down so we can get more stuff in the pyramid. So as always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.